Bulgaria will prepare a battalion military group under its own command for defense purposes. That is the country's decision after a closed session of the government. Bulgaria's security strategy will be updated with a focus on its own defense capabilities. The government has decided to prioritize Bulgaria's strategy towards de-escalating tensions, as well as to use all opportunities through diplomatic means to resolve the conflict. Our defense strategy will be based on the Bulgarian army. Our army will be the leader, which means Bulgarian troops, Bulgarian command and Bulgarian military leadership. The announcement of the Bulgarian government came after the news that Spain and the Netherlands are intending to send ships and fighter jets on its territory. However, neither the Prime Minister nor the Defence Minister commented on the possible military deployment. In addition to that, the Bulgarian people are as divided as ever on that topic. As members of NATO, we must be fair, but it is also not good to have ships in the Black Sea. You cannot be with or against. You are either one or the other. Once we are in the alliance, we have to do our part. What are the Americans doing in the Black Sea? I apologize, but they have ruined all of Asia, Iran, Iraq. It's all their business. And now they've set out to administer justice. The state has an orientation, it makes its decisions, and that's it. After all, it's democracy. Ulena Kotseva is a Ukrainian who's lived in Bulgaria for more than 40 years. She continues to keep up with the news from her homeland with anxiety. She says her country has been at war with Russia since 2014. We want peace, but we are preparing for war. Yesterday I spoke with my brother who lives in Kiev. The niece's husband returned from the front without two legs. When I talked to him yesterday, I asked, are you afraid? Is it scary there? He answered, why should we be scared? Scared. We are at home. He said, I will take the rifle and defend the country. And while the people of Bulgaria and Ukraine hope for a peaceful resolution to the conflict, Sofia will work on this direction, mainly through diplomacy.